just get this out of the way. Who is the Black Hood? I Mark, don't know. Won't, Mark won't tell me. I don't know. You don't well, know? He doesn't know. They don't tell you guys anything? No. Wow. Literally don't know until the script's in our hands. Do you think they give you fake scripts sometimes to throw you off? No, they don't have time <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> for that. <laughs> what, what about getting this role? It didn't happen overnight, right? Sir, no, definitely not. Um, I auditioned, I, I self-taped at home in North Carolina with my mom helped me put together a tape and it took me, I was one of the hardest self-tapes ever. For some reason, I just like wasn't happy with the way I was doing it and playing it. Um, so I sent in my tape, didn't hear anything, figured like, okay, I guess I didn't get it. But then I, I moved to LA like a month later and my manager called me and said, the role's still up. Would you like to go in again? And so... I kind of went in with like a new spin on her and like, you know, started from scratch a little bit with the character and I guess it worked. But, but in between when you made the tape and when you actually went in for the audition, were you, did you go back to a regular job? Were you working? Uh, yeah, I was working at Pier 1 Imports at the time. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, I was a sales associate. <laughs> no kidding. Yes. I so, love that story. It's a good it story. It has everything. Yes. <laughs> I wore it's the blue apron and everything. <laughs>